Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day, and today I have a nail polish haul. I know you think all I do is shop, and with Sarah here, that's what we did a lot of, but this is just kind of one of those random things. My husband got an email or noticed something from Sephora and said they're having a sale. I can't even believe he told me, and I jumped all up on it. So, anyway, I am so hot. I have on long sleeves. We're getting ready to go to the movies to take Connor to see planes, and I always get cold in the movies, so... In the meantime, I'm going to sweat to death, but that's okay. Okay, so here are the polishes. I got six polishes from Sephora. I've just got to hold it up to you because it's ridiculous now that I've gotten them. Look at these colors. I mean, you think I like purple. It is my favorite color, but apparently it's going to be the color of the season in fall, if not anywhere but in my little world. So anyway... All right, I'm going to get started with two random top coats that I've bought recently. Um, the first one is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. If you want a great top coat that dries fast and gives you a shiny finish, you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is less than $5. You can get it, you know, Target, Walmart, any drugstore. This is a really, really great top coat. Um, it does dry up really fast. I've never finished... I've never gotten past half a bottle before I had to throw it out. That is the only downside to this one. So, I have been trying the Sesh Beat. I have mixed feelings on that. I'll talk about that later. But I hear other people talking about the Out the Door. But I found this at Sally's Beauty Supply, and I want to think it was like 5 or $6. It says it's America's number one super fast drying top coat. I really like it. Um, I have it on today, but I don't find that it dries as fast as the insta dry or the sesh feet thinner consistency than this one so i'm just eager to see if it's going to last outlast this one so that's just two random top coats that i've just purchased okay so while i was at sally's i got these little babies these four little babies last winter like Christmas I wanted a red glitter polish like a finely milled glitter pot with red and I ended up getting one from sinful colors but I saw one from china glaze that I liked better but I thought well it's just going to be something I wear at Christmas I don't want to spend eight dollars so I just got the sinful color one it was fine but I ended up using it throughout the winter and at Sally's the other day I always check their sale section they had these little baby china glaze bottles and i'm talking like they're baby bottles the color ruby pumps and this is the color that i saw last christmas that i wanted anyway these little things were on sale for 49 cents 49 cents so i got four of them so i spent two dollars and i think i should be covered in red glitter and to show you what that looks like because i'm super prepared today I did a little nail wheel for you, and that is that one right there. So it just gives you a red glitter. Hopefully, it's picking it up, but I think it's really, really pretty. Let's see. That's probably no good, but you know. So anyway, I'm very excited about Ruby Pumps. Okay, then two random purchases from Target. Uh, I saw it's the new um, Sally Hansen collection. Love these Sally Hansen polishes. I've talked about these before. They have a wide brush, great quality. Um, all Sally Hansen, I mean, are good polishes, but these, the hardest nail extreme wear, is a really good line. And this is in the color, where is it? Perfect pairing, like pairing, like a fruit pairing. Um, it's just kind of one of those greens, like you, I felt like I had it, but I didn't have it. And it's a mix between a lime, between like a Mojito Madness, the grassy green. It's not Essie first timer. It's just kind of in a little class of its own. own. So here is that one right there. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. And yeah, I have it on my toes. So that is perfect pairing from Sally Hansen. And then the next one I got from Target is this um, Nicole by OPI. And it's the Selena Gomez collection. And the color is Selena. And then it says under it N-I-G-O-8. I don't know if that's a song or maybe that's just some writing. But I'm calling it Selena. So anyway, 
this color I didn't have a color like this I have colors similar to this but to me this is just the perfect salmon pink like it's a peachy pink salmon and I just think it's so nice on the nails and if you follow me on Instagram I've already used this one and I did put an Instagram in there so they still have this actually a friend of mine saw it on Instagram and she went that day and got it because she liked it so much but um so there's what it looks like on the nail wheel I think it's just so pretty and it's just it really is just a salmon peachy pink so there's that one okay the Sephora thing which is what is why I'm doing this haul. My husband got an email and he's like, I don't even know if I should tell you about this, but I'm going to. And it was Sephora by OPI's nail polishes. They're normally $9.50 each and they were on sale for three for $10. And I ordered them. I did it online because I didn't know how long the sale was going to be. It, it was in stores too. Now, I don't know if it's still in stores, but I did just check a while ago and it's still going on on their website. And I'm going to get this up tonight. So hopefully you can get the chance to do this sale too. It comes across when you go on and you look at the Sephora by OPI. It says $4.50 a nail polish, but it evens out to three for 10 and, but if you don't get three, you're not gonna get the sale the way I did it. Yeah, so anyway, I got six. I had nine and I eliminated three, but apparently if I had gotten three more, I just would have gotten three more purples. So um, anyway, but that is such a great, great sale because they're normally 9.50 each and three for 10. I mean, that's three for the price of one, so. And then if you do it online, you have to spend $50 to get free shipping in the U.S. Um, so I had to pay for shipping. I think it was like $5. But you get a lot of samples. And so I always like getting samples when I order online through them. And I think I might have picked up a few other things too through their sales section. But this is just a nail polish haul. So anyway, I'm going to show you the colors I got. I wrote them down so I can do it in order. And they're pretty much purpley except for this first one and they are I was thinking more fally colors so and if you've never tried Sephora by OPI it's just like to me the OPI it's a great polish great quality um, I don't think the brush is a thick a wide brush no the brush is just a normal brush um, but yeah great quality polish and I have six of them to show you okay so the first one is called and this one is the only one that's not purple under my trench coat it's this color right here and it's just kind of a taupey tan color and so that is the color and it has a little bit of a sheen to it an iridescent sheen to it but it's like it's not any chunky glitter but it's kind of a taupey tan so i think it's really pretty for fall um under my trench coat and it's very classy and i like it a lot okay next i got metro chic this is one i've had before i love this color it's the most perfect taupey purple out there i've got several that i've considered semi dupes but when i got this when i saw it online i'm like you know what my dupes are just not exact enough and i love this color so anyway i did a top coat on here and for some reason it's like smudgy looking but that is metro chic let me hold it up to my nail and here it is in the bottle it's one of their like classic colors a lot of people have heard of metro chic so it's just to sum it up it is a taupey purple and i love it for the fall and winter so metro chic okay the next one is on stage and let me see on stage is this one right here and it's kind of, they're all purpley, but this is more of a purpley, here I'll show you the bottle. Um, it's kind of a purpley berry color, but it's not like berry, but it's more on the berry end of purple. And it's called On Stage, and I think it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And like I said, these are all pretty purple and, you know, fall, winter colors. Okay, the next one is, is, let's see, the next one is, 
it's one o'clock it's one o'clock and i don't know what i'm thinking but two of these look pretty much just alike but anyway it's one o'clock is this one right here and it's more of a deeper purple and so that one right there put it on my nail and it's just um kind of a dark purple but it, I feel like it has a little bit of taupe under there because it's not like a true purple. Um, it could kind of, it's like a brownie purple. But it's called, it's wine o'clock and I think it is beautiful. Okay, next one is Iris, I was thinner. So, I wish I was thinner, Iris, I was thinner. Yeah, I agree, but you know. Um, this one is, I feel like I've had this one before, but I don't feel like it was this name. But this is the truest purple out of all of them. So you can see that one right there. And that one, I could really get away with this time of the year too. And I will probably do that very soon. And it's just a true purple, but it's kind of a muted purple. It's not so like Easter eggy or springy. It can go any season. But it's just a really nice true purple so really really like that and it's iris iris that was thinner okay um the next one is okay this is the last one it's what abroad and let me see where Daddy's it is here. daddy's home okay so the last one is what abroad and let me show you that one right there put it on my finger now this one to me online they looked very different but in person they don't look very different so what abroad and it's wine o'clock look very similar so not the one in the middle but these two right here are um, this is it's wine o'clock and this is what's abroad so okay let me find it uh, oh what abroad not it's abroad okay I need to shake it up so here is this one and it has more of a purpley like a dark purple you can kind of see the two side by side this is the um the iris i was thinner but it's just such a dark purple and i've got dark purples but they tend to be more grape um but this is or more maroon this is just just a nice dark purple um so that is that one and let me show you that one beside it's wine o'clock to me they look different in the bottles but when you paint them out if i had to do again i probably wouldn't buy both of them because they are so so similar um the what abroad is a little bit more purpley whereas it's wine o'clock has a little bit more maroon in it so that would be the two differences with those but not a whole lot of difference so anyway this is my nail wheel you can tell the ones i got from sephora and then this was sally's and these two were target and then my top coat but the point of this um haul was to show you my haul my nail polishes but to tell you about this sale on sephora's website i did just go and check a while ago and it's still going on i think they have 86 colors um in the sephora by opi brand it's just that brand it's not like any other um like nail ink or anything like that it's just this brand i'm not sure if it's still going on in the store but it is still going on online and i ordered on sunday night i was laying in the bed and it was like 12 30 so it was technically monday and i got them yesterday which was wednesday so took me three days so that's not bad so anyway i was excited to show you these i hope you liked them if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and if you know if it's still going on in the store please leave it below and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please 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 do subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching i am sweating but we're headed to the movies and gotta wear a sweater so all right i'll see you later bye